This audio is for educational purposes only. I hope this will add light to your journey. Please share this audio to your loved ones, family and friends. Thank you. Raise your vibration. By Kyle Gray. The universe is recruiting you. Spiritual advancement is not measured by one's outward powers, but only by the depth of his bliss. In meditation, Paramahamsa Yogananda, have you seen the signs? Have you seen repetitive numbers? On your clock, phone, car dashboard, even a receipt from the store. Numbers like 111, 222, 333. Personally, I've seen them everywhere. It even started to freak out my friends at one point. When my full tank of fuel kept coming to perfect number sequences, like 44 pounds and 44 pence. At first, I thought that these sequences were angels saying hello, but, in more recent times, I've come to realize that there's a larger scale operation going on. These numbers aren't coincidences, they are messages from the universe, inviting us to be ambassadors of positive change, or, what people know, as lightworkers. A lightworker is someone who is here to make a positive difference to the world. I believe, that before coming to earth, all lightworkers consciously chose, to awaken at this time, to direct the world into a new age, that would be honest, and filled with peace, and know a love, that was divine, there is also, a call of need, moving through the universe, at this time, your own need to create, a life of integrity and love, is also something you chose, before you came here, and your conscious choice, to make your life more positive, is actually your response, to the inner call of the universe, 11 11 111, I'm not going to lie, when I started seeing the numbers, 111, or, 11 11, recurring in my life, I knew, there was some sort of spiritual meaning behind it, but it took me a while, to figure out what it was, because, when I googled it, which is what I do, with everything I don't understand, there were so many interpretations of it, I remember getting an 1111, on my iPhone screen one day, and, deciding to meditate on what its message was for me, what I received, was clear, precise, and, to be honest, simple, the message that I came to know, deep within me, was nothing new, it was an age-old message, that we have heard from great spiritual teachers, like Jesus, and ancient sages like Patanjali, who compiled the Yoga Sutras, it was this, we are all one, as I said, it's nothing new, but, when you receive your 1111 message, you are literally in touch with the divine, you are connecting, to everyone, thing, that ever was, is, and will be, and, as you are connecting to that frequency, It's important, to focus your thoughts on something, that is contributing to the growth, healing, and nurturing of the world. We all have challenging thoughts, and we all feel disconnected and frustrated, from time to time, and this doesn't make us a bad person, or a terrible lightworker, because, we are here, to grow and learn, but, when the 1111 arrives, it's a call, from the source of creation, the depths of our soul, the angels, and the universe itself, to lift up our energy, raise our vibration, and step into the light, to become a guide, leader, and teacher to the world, the I am-ness, when it comes to being, a lightworker, there is a real call from the universe, for us to honor, who we truly are, we are a soul within a body, and we are here, to make a difference, when we accept, the spiritual gift and mission, we have been given, we awaken and empower ourselves, from the inside out, accepting and embracing, who we truly are, is what I like to call, the I am-ness, but, it is also called, the I am-presence, by various other schools of thought, this isn't new information either, it has been taught for thousands of years, in the Bible, Jesus used the words, I am, the light of the world, which is basically, what a lightworker is, when you awaken, and align your I am-ness, you are basically acknowledging, 
that you are part of something greater than you are. This is exactly what happens when you see 111 or 1111 on the clock. You are invited by heaven to acknowledge and accept that you are part of all that is. Before delving any further into this book, why not take a few moments to awaken and align your I amness? By doing this exercise, take a deep breath in and then slowly exhale. Say, I am the light. Imagine yourself covered in brilliant white light. Take another deep breath in and then slowly exhale. Say, you are the light. Imagine everyone everywhere lighting up. Take another deep breath in and then slowly exhale. Say, we are the light. See your light and everyone else's light coming together. I love doing this. It's such a powerful and easy technique. If you ever need to do it really quickly to shift your vibes and move into who you are, you can simply say, I am, you are, we are, other signs. You may not have received a 1111 sign, but you may have received various other messages from the universe. That's totally cool. Or maybe you haven't received anything you could call a sign, but have a deep inner feeling that you need to be a better person. If so, you're in the right place too. 1234. 1, 2, 3, 4. Another common sequence that shows up is numbers moving in order. You might pick up the phone at 1234, for instance, or see those numbers appearing somewhere else. I like to call this the ladder. It represents moving up the spiritual ladder. You are being told that you are taking the right steps to lift your heart and energy and make a positive change to the world. 2222, 222. This one has a personal resonance with me because I see it so often. And so does my best friend, Terry. Every time we see it on our phone, we text each other. And that's most days when two number twos face each other, they create a love heart shape. I call the twos facing each other, swans of love, as they look like swans, swimming across a lake. When you see this, it is the universe encouraging you, to acknowledge the deep love that is within you. While 1111, is all about oneness, 2222, is all about bringing that oneness together. It's that divine call from the universe, inviting you to recognize, that your intentions and actions, influence others. Every single word you say, every deed you perform, and every interaction you have with others, is creating waves of change. When you see 2222, you are being invited to see how you are the light in the room. How are your actions, deeds, intentions, and words positively affecting all those around you? Turn on that light and shine bright. 333 333 33 is an auspicious number in spirituality, because, it is believed that Jesus lived to this age. Not only that, in numerology, it is known, as the, master teacher number. For this reason, it has become strongly associated, with the ascended masters. Ascended masters are spiritual teachers, and change agents who once walked the earth, but, now offer their support, based on their life lessons from the heart of the universe, heaven, when 333, 333 shows up, it's telling you, not only that you're a great leader of some kind, but also, that the leaders and teachers who have gone before you, are encouraging you, 444, 444, in traditional numerology, 44, was the number of structure, it became the number of business, planning, and building strong foundations. In recent years, it has become associated with angels. And boy, have those angels used it to their advantage. Thanks to Doreen Virtue, 44 has become the traditional number of cards in angel card decks. And through her work, 444 has become a widely recognized sign that angels are present. When I first learned this, I never stopped seeing 1444 on my clock. 
and I have woken up to interesting information at 4.44 a.m. several times over the years. When you see this number, your angels want you to know that they are your biggest fans. The angelic realm is drawing close to you, offering you support and reminding you that you don't have to do everything on your own. Be open to the angels' light and help to feel more secure and in flow with your life. High-pitched noises. These are some of my favorite signs. I call a high-pitched noise a download because I believe it shows we are receiving some sort of divine guidance from the universe. I like to imagine the human mind and body are like a huge radio that we can tune to receive different messages from heaven, ascended masters, and angels. Sometimes our frequency isn't fully tuned in, but still can pick up other channels. And when we hear a high pitched noise, we are being given a taster of what can be received. I was recently in Colorado giving a talk, and I spoke about the experience of hearing a high pitched noise. To my surprise, at least 50 people came up to me afterwards to tell me that they'd heard these noises for years and had never understood what was happening when it happens to me. As it did earlier today, before I wrote this section, I take a moment or two just to acknowledge it. I come to the awareness that I am receiving some sort of guidance, download, upgrade, or information from the angels and universe. Then, I usually close my eyes and breathe for a moment and say this simple prayer from my book. Angel prayers. Thank you, angels, for revealing to me what I need to know. Even if I don't hear or know anything else, I just trust that whatever I need to know will be revealed to me. In due course, the next time you hear a high-pitched noise, know that you are being invited to raise your vibes, hearing your name, hearing their name being called, is a sign that freaks out a lot of people. Many people get the idea that there's some weird spirit following them. Not true. When you hear your name being called, the universe is echoing the love it has for you. So, instead of having a huge debate in your mind about whether you are imagining it or not, just respond with, I hear your call, universe. It's important to acknowledge that your name has a lot to do with your vibration. I recently had an interesting conversation with angel expert Diana Cooper when we were out for dinner with our publisher before the Angel World Summit. We were just engaging in general chit-chat about life and my favorite subject, food. And as I was chattering away, I shortened her name to Di. I said, sorry, Diana, I do that all the time, as my mum and one of my close friends are both called Diane. Her reply was sweet, but quite powerful at the same time. She said, that's okay, I was Di, until I had my first angel experience. And then, I became, Diana. The truth was, I already knew that was right. In fact, trusting who you are, and saying your name, with love in your heart, can be said to sum up everything, that I've learned to this point on my spiritual path. There are many ways to do this, from the affirmation techniques that Louise Hay has shared with us, to the self-acceptance we are encouraged to move into, by our guardian angels, and angels love to say our name to us. That's why you'll hear your name, being called out from time to time, if you're needing a nudge, to step into your light, and move into your true power, when you say your own name, in a loving way, when you write your name, in a loving way, and when you ask others to respect your name, you initiate your I amness. What happens next? So, you've received the signs, you've heard the calls, and you know that there's something larger going on. The universe has recruited you, it's pointed you out as a change agent and an earth angel. You've been invited to lift your energy and that of all the people around you. The fact that you're here tells us that you've responded to that call and that you're ready to initiate the process. Your life will now become a demonstration 
of how to live in the best way. It probably already is. You may already have heard that people love to be in your company, feel they can rely on you, and know they can trust you. With the deepest emotions, you've probably had strangers or people you hardly know tell you their entire life story, including things they've never been able to admit to others. Your life is a demonstration because the positivity you activate within yourself becomes a platform for other people to get positive too. Your excitement and love for life are infectious. But not only that, the light that is shining within you will now get brighter and brighter. And all of those who surround you and who are drawn to you will begin to light up too. In order to progress along this path, it's important to be clear with the universe, the angels, and your guides that you accept this mission to light up. Don't worry, though, this doesn't mean that you have to quit your job or work 24 7 for the universe angels spirit world it just means that you've accepted the call and you're willing to contribute towards the healing peace and nurturing of the world you're willing to raise your vibration